What's up, YouTube? I'm Derek with Lost Alien Media, and this is my review for Everything Everywhere All at Once, starring Michelle Yeoh, Ke Hui Kwan, Stephanie Su, and Jamie Lee Curtis, directed by Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert. When an interdimensional rupture unravels reality, an unlikely hero must channel her newfound powers to fight bizarre and bewildering dangers from the multiverse as the fate of the world hangs in the balance. What a beautiful zany awesome mindfuck of a movie think the matrix meets the adjustment bureau with anal plugs while you're chipping on lsd a24 is renowned for producing great art house experimental thought-provoking cinema and everything everywhere all at once is up there with the best of them the story while extremely bizarre retains the themes of love regret acceptance our existence and family and to me, those are the best kind of movies. Amid all the chaos and spectacle, the message of the story rings clear and the character moments hit you right in the feels. Having said that, the wackiness of this film is hilariously awesome. There are so many scenes where I was just laughing at the sheer absurdity of it. It was extremely entertaining and a lot of fun to watch. Which brings me to the editing and the cinematography. The editing here is masterful. The number of seamless transitions between all the different universes along with all the props and the costumes is really something to behold. My mouth was literally open in awe throughout all of it. I can't quite think of another movie like it to be honest. And the cinematography is just as brilliant. The aesthetic of the film is a visual feast for the eyes and had me feeling like I was on an acid trip. The palette of colors is vast and vibrant popping off the screen, accentuating every scene. You can tell that a lot of time and effort were put into every frame. Every shot is beautifully and meticulously crafted. The acting across the board is great. I personally feel that this is Michelle Yeoh's best performance. She's funny, she's charming, she brings a certain vulnerability to her character, and of course, she kicks ass. Stephanie Sue, who I've never heard of, is also really good and brings a ton of charisma to her role. Jamie Lee Curtis is, well, she's Jamie Lee Curtis. She's just about awesome in everything that she's in. But Ke Hui Kwan steals the show in my opinion. I haven't seen him in anything since The Goonies or Indiana Jones, and he's practically the same exuberant person as he was when he was a kid. He's absolutely hilarious in the movie, and there's just something very endearing and infectious about his energy. I'm hoping that this movie can be the launch pad for a career resurgence, because he really hasn't been in many movies for a long time. And based off this movie, he really deserves it. And like every Michelle Yeoh action movie, the action and fight choreography are top notch. And the way they incorporate certain props into the action had the whole theater roaring with laughter. The entire direction of this movie, from start to finish, is master class. For so many different settings to be interwoven into the story and having to provide context to the actors about those settings, bringing out the performances that they did, is nothing short of amazing. I can only imagine what writing and reading the script must have been like. I just really had a great time watching this movie. It was a strange, wonderful, heartwarming theater experience that I'll remember for quite some time. It's a project that is constructed with passion, care, dedication, and vision, and it shows. I laughed, I cheered, I shed a few tears, and I laughed some more. I give everything, everywhere, all at once, a 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. Derek out.